Hello all, my name is Tyler. And I'm John. And together we are DeLon Rigging Solutions, or DRS for short. All right, let's talk about a, a, well, a couple of things here. One would be, this is a application of two half hitches that we, we demonstrated earlier how to tie two half hitches. This is a location where we would use two, two or and actually usually three half hitches uh, in securing the operating line to the arbor. Uh, I have a line set here that the idler block is all the way on the floor and the line is pretty slack so I'm going to take opportunity to uh, demonstrate tying these knots and fix this issue at the same time. Uh, now the first thing that I would do here is to check the operating line uh, uh, termination on the top of the arbor, make sure that it's good. And if it's a good knot and uh, in good shape, then I'll do all my adjustments here at the bottom of the arbor. I'm going to bring the arbor down where I can get to the bottom of it. And here's another, another important piece of this puzzle is that if you're going to do this, you need to make sure that the arbor, that the line set is arbor heavy. Because if it's arbor heavy and we untie this, it's not going anywhere because it's already arbor heavy. If it were pipe heavy and we take the line off the bottom of the arbor, then we would have to secure the arbor by another means so that it didn't uh, get away from us. But since it's arbor heavy uh, and it's hanging on the operating line from the head block, we can go ahead and, and take this loose and retie it and resecure it. In this case, this has three, four half hitches on it, which is a little bit of overkill, but it looks like they had uh, some extra tail to uh, use up, so they've tied an extra knot. Uh, the tail's been secured with wire ties. I'm going to clip those off and get them out of the way. Take the old knot off. All right, I've got the, the last knot coming loose here, and I'm gonna, well, I've still got a loop of rope through it. I'm gonna check one more time to see that it's arbor heavy. If I try to try to pull it down, it won't come, and I can't can't hardly push it up it's enough arbor heavy okay so now I've got my knot out of it I'm gonna leave my rope through the eye I'm gonna kick the flip block to, to loosen it up and I'm gonna lift it and take up the slack pull the extra rope through the eye there I'm gonna look at the foot block and it's just a little bit above halfway in its travel which is about where I would like it to live and I'm going to make the assumption that I'll lose a little bit when I tie the knot, so it'll be just a little bit lower than I see it right now. And I like that. I, I like where it's at, I like where I think it's going to end up at. So I've got a hold of the tail of the rope here, and this side of the uh, operating line has the idler block hanging on it. And it's all positioned where we want it, so now I'm going to take, I'm going to pinch the operating line right here at the eye bolt. I'm going to pinch it and hold it. Then I'm going to take the tail and I'm going to tie my first half hitch. So I'm going to take it around the load part of the of the standing part of the line, make my half hitch, and then I'm going to draw that half hitch up while I'm still pinching it here with my other hand. I'm going to work that knot all the way up against there. All right. So now I have one half hitch in, and it's still where I want it to be. That's a good position for it. Now I'm going to tie another half hitch, so I'm going to continue the same direction of rotation around the standing part of the rope. I'm going to pull another half hitch into it. I'm going to cinch it up against the previous one. And I'm going to go around one more time. And I'm going to cinch it up there. Right. Now, at this point, I've got some extra rope. 
I want to trim this rope so I have about a six inch tail here. If I make the tail any longer, then it's going to hit the idler block when the, when, the, when the arbor is all the way at the bottom. So about six inches is what I'm looking for. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm going to take and wrap this with uh, electrical tape at the spot where I want to cut it. So uh, after you get the tape wrapped around here and uh, get this ready to, to cut, I'd uh, suggest not using a knife. Uh, if you use a knife with uh, so many other ropes nearby right here, uh, you can take a chance on, on cutting another rope and then you're in a world of trouble if you come off of there and slip and hit another rope. So a better tool, a better choice, is to use uh, a cable cutter. The cable cutter is not really necessarily designed for this, but it doesn't mind cutting the fiber rope and it does a pretty clean job of it. Get it in there and being careful to keep your fingers out of the way, you're going to cut it up on the edge of the tape so that you're actually cutting some tape as well. Get it all positioned and uh, snugged up on the rope and give it a squeeze. Got a, got a bite on it, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Then I'm going to grab some wire ties. Put some wire ties around it similar to what it was before. I'm going to do it first. I'm going to do it up here right close to the knot because I want to keep that knot nice and tight. Put one on up here. Snug it down. That's the one that's really keeping the knot where we want it. And I'm going to go ahead and put two more on to keep this tail snugged up and positioned where I want it. Take some diagonal cutters and snip those. And we are good to go. We've got the operating line with the idler floating and keeping tension on the rope. We've got three half hitches and the tail secured with wire ties. The last thing to do would be to let the arbor come all the way down and see what that tail looks. See where the, the tail is hitting the shiv as it comes all the way down because this idler the crash bar stops it right there. So yeah that's uh, it will be probably better for the tail to be on the back side but it's a lot harder to keep it there or to, to get it there just because of the logistics of how you're tying it. I think I can live with that. The worst case scenario is that it catches on the shiv and breaks that bottom wire tie. That's something that's going to be obvious and I'm going to see as the pipe's in use that I need to adjust it some. Um, I think for practical purposes that uh, I'm pretty happy with that the way it is. All right, that would be an example of using half hitches and an example of adjusting the operating line to have the foot block in the right position to correctly keep tension on the rope. Please remember that DeLong Rigging Solutions one-shot train videos are meant as general overviews. Every system is different. Every venue has different procedures. All statements made make certain assumptions about systems and venue similarities. Nothing can replace on-site training with a qualified individual. If ever you have a question or concern about rigging, do not hesitate to reach out to us or another qualified vendor in your area.